Hi everybody, it's Elise. Um, I know it's been a while. <laughs> I've been very busy. I graduate May 19th from college, and that's coming up fast, so I have a lot to do with that. But also, sorry, I'm recording on my iPhone because I don't want that annoying noise in the background that everybody always hears. But um, anyways, um, I've been busy with college, but I've also been busy with you know, being a poly in the Marine Corps. It's crazy, you guys, like, what I've gone through this past month to try and... Okay, I'll start from the beginning. So, I was try when I signed up into the Delayed Entry Program the end of February, I signed in hopes that a slot would open up in the, um, in the MOS that I wanted, which was a visual information communication field 46 or field 43 which is public affairs about a week ago my recruiter pulled me into his office and they're like listen the job you want wanted's not open so we have these two jobs for you and you leave you ship out june 4th so we, we need you to sign a contract basically the two jobs were like something with engineering I don't even know and the other one is something with fuel it's like bulk fuel specialist or something like that and I'm like crap you know I just I'm about to graduate college with an art degree and I was hoping that my degree could be beneficial to the Marine Corps and I could do something that I really love to do which is share stories and listen to stories and just get the Marine Corps out to the civilian world and have that connection between the two the two things and so this is a bummer and it's a hard decision you know to sign a contract that you don't necessarily want and you know they say you can lat move after two years but the chance of that happening is very slim because why would the Marine Corps train you for something when you're just gonna leave and after you after that training so um, and then, aside from that, I have people telling me, you know, don't sign this, wait it out. But since I leave June 4th, um, that doesn't give me a lot of time, right? Because it's, what is today? Shoot, I don't even know. April 19th. Um, so less than two months until I ship out. And um, they're like, well, we'll we're going to have to discharge you if you don't sign a contract and you don't ship and at first I was like well I guess I'm gonna have to discharge and you know, try again later but um, the Marine Corps is shrinking and there's problems where if you discharge because you're not gonna sign a contract um, you could try to re-enlist but then you might lose the ability to even choose your MOS field the next time around so I mean who knows, but also, <laughs> this is the crazy part, is my recruiters have been working really hard to try and get me the job that I want. They, they called the school, which is DINFO's um, Defense Information something, DINFO's, <laughs> I don't know what it stands for, um, where I would be training for the job that I want, and uh, he got a hold of an instructor there who I talked to on the phone, but on top of that, he got a hold of the person that's in charge of a huge portion of that school, and he's a master gunnery sergeant there. And um, this this master gun master guns emailed me, and uh, he said he wants me in their program, and they're gonna try everything they can to get me a job there. But I might have to sign a contract that I don't want, such as bulk fuel specialist, and hope that when I graduate boot camp, I'll call him or email him and he'll be able to potentially pull me from that MOS and put me in DINFOs before I even go to MOS school. Um, so it's a gamble on my part because that's a very, that's not heard of. That's a weird thing. It's It's shady. It's shady, right? So, but at the same time, you know, I want to be a Marine, and I want to show that I want to be a Marine first, and then my job comes second. Um, and I'm hoping that 
potentially by doing this, it will show that, and they'll help me, they'll meet me halfway, so to speak, and, um, but yeah, <laughs> that's in a nutshell, that's kind of where I'm at, it's, it's a downer, but at the same time, I'm trying to make the best of it, and, you know, the hard thing is trying to convince family and people who are telling you not to sign a contract unless you you really want that job don't do it just discharge it but uh, there's so many things that go along with that I've been to MIP so many times I've, I've had to go through so much already just to get where I am today and just to throw it away because cause I'm stubborn I guess kind of but I mean I did go to art school and I spent a bajillion dollars trying to get better at art and do something that I want to do and I can understand and see why that would be an issue but it's a lot to think about and so that's what <laughs> where I'm at but hopefully things will work out and hopefully I still ship June 4th my ship date to Paris Island, South Carolina, obviously. Um, and hopefully things get better. Uh, also, my IST is better. My run time is 9 minutes, 20 seconds, or something. My flexed arm hang is almost 2 minutes, and my crunches have gone up to 80. Still working on them, but I'm pretty sure I can get 100 by the time- No, I will get 100 by the time I ship. Um, or more. But that's going good, still working hard, just lots of things. My life's going in a million directions right now, but it'll it'll work out, you know. The journey is something that you want to experience, and hopefully I'll learn things from this, and I'll be able to share my experiences and my stories like I'm doing now in the future, and that... By doing so, I'll help people out later on. And but yeah, I just wanted to give a quick update. Or oh crap, it's like 7:30 now. Um, just to tell you guys what's going on with me. And I'm still alive, still here, still a pulley in the Marine Corps. And yeah, talk to you later. Bye.